Hi. What you can see is a sultana and a little bit of saline in a balloon. And this is a quick, simple model that we use to make for nerve block practices for our registrars. The ingredients are simple. Anyone who makes ultrasound models in the kitchen will have these things available. For those of you more visually, we have the sultana. We poke it into the little balloon, put a little bit of saline around it to remove the air, then tie a knot at the base and fold the tail back over the balloon. When you've collected enough of these, I tend to set them in a shallow layer in a dish so that they don't float to the top, and put a second layer on top. Don't put them too close to the edge of the dish or people won't be able to fit the probe in. It's a good time to review where nerves actually go in the skeleton and also local anaesthetic toxicity before you set them loose on actually trying to inject the nerve. As you can see it gives us a reasonably realistic uh, pattern. Uh, you can see when you're injecting in the right place you can see the balloon expanding. You can eventually start having competitions to see who can make their raisins flip. And here's another picture. You can also learn to direct the needles uh, to the back of the nerve and eventually have the nerve uh, surrounded by your injection. I was thinking that you might be able to use a hypertonic solution, leave it overnight so that the raisin expanded a bit more. Obviously those with a bit more saline around their sultana had an easier time of it. And finally there's the roll. Unfortunately these are single use type models. You need everyone to have a couple of goes I would expect. Uh, and when you have more than one puncture in your balloon you'll then get reflux out the holes. Still it gives you a good idea of your infusion injection going right around. So in summary you don't need a whole length of nerve to practice. Of course you can put more or less saline around the current and embed them deeper or shallower. Many ways to expand the challenge.